Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. If you're interested in creating e-learning courses and taking your teaching skills to the next level, you're in for a real treat. In this video, we're going to show you how to use ChatGPT powered by natural language processing to plan your course, create content, and get recommendations for activities and resources. And best of all, you can create a complete and robust e-learning course in just 60 to 90 minutes. So let's get started. Before we dive into the details, there is one important step you need to take. You must first create a free account at ChatGPT. Now I put a link in the description below, and once you've done that, you'll be ready to explore the amazing possibilities that this tool offers. Now that you have your account set up, let's see what you can do with ChatGPT. Here are just a few of the tips that you can use to make the most out of this tool. First, when you're starting a conversation with ChatGPT, it's helpful to inform the artificial intelligence, or AI, that it's an expert in a particular field. By doing this, you provide context and you guide the AI to generate responses based on assumed expertise within that domain. Let me give you an example. You can start your prompt with, you are an e-learning expert or you are an instructional design expert, or you are an expert in adult learning theory. You could say you're an expert in the Moodle learning management system. Whatever it is, begin with your expertise and then continue with the prompt. For example, create an outline for an e-learning course that teaches, and you would describe your audience, and you would describe your topic. And this is very important. You want to be as specific as you possibly can because doing that gives the artificial intelligence more information about the content that it's creating. Now next, you're going to gather relevant information by posing continuous questions or prompts to the model. And again, the more detailed and specific you are, the better that the model can assist you. Now you can even ask for a certain kind of tone or a desired level of difficulty. For example, explain nuclear fusion so that elementary school students can understand the topic. Once you've gathered the explanations, examples, and insights from ChatGPT, it's time to structure the information into logical lessons or modules or chapters to ensure a coherent flow of the content. Now that you've got your course structure, you can use ChatGPT to generate learning objectives, course overviews, quizzes, rubrics, exercises, and even interactive elements to keep your learners engaged. However, it's essential to be cautious of potential risks when using ChatGPT. The model may generate inaccurate or misleading information, so fact-checking and content verification are necessary. Your model responses will also definitely lack real-world experience, so integrating human expertise is important for accuracy and relevance. And lastly, addressing potential biases in the model's training data is crucial to create a fair and inclusive learning experience. Now that you've got a basic understanding of how to use ChatGPT, let's explore some specific prompts that you can use to create your e-learning courses. All of these prompts that you're going to see can be found in a document that I linked in the description below. So feel free to copy and paste these into your ChatGPT conversation thread, one after the other. And remember that ChatGPT is going to remember the previous prompt and it will continue building on it. So you don't need to start a new conversational thread every time with a new prompt. I recommend that you use the prompts in the order that I've outlined them in the document because I find that doing so will give better structure to your course. Lastly, to ensure long-term retention and to combat the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, ChatGPT can help you to create activities and resources to be completed at different intervals after the course ends. We call this spaced repetition or making the course sticky. As a bonus, ChatGPT can also provide you with suggestions to gamify your course, and it can offer you ways to measure the return on investment, both quantitatively and qualitatively. So whether you're an educator, a corporate trainer, or anyone interested in e-learning, ChatGPT can be a really valuable tool in your arsenal. And that's all for today's video. We hope you found this introduction to ChatGPT for e-learning courses helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.